Researchers at UC Irvine have come up with a new kind of COVID test that can predict early on if you'll have a severe case of that disease. Our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain how it works by finding bad antibodies. Early on in the pandemic, some graduate students at UC Irvine were working on what a lot of labs were developing, a conventional test for COVID-19. But then they had an idea. Find a test that not, does not just help us figure out who has COVID, but rather it goes one level deeper and helps us understand who is likely to have severe outcomes. They wanted a test that could predict the future, that could tell which infected patients would wind up getting really sick days later, so doctors could treat them early on. And they noticed a pattern. A lot of the people getting really sick had a certain kind of antibody. When you think of antibodies, you think of them as the good guys, right? Antibodies are those virus fighting molecules we've heard so much about, and the good ones stick to the surface of the virus. A spike antibody physically blocks the coronavirus from getting into your cells. But they say once in a while, when a patient has a lot of infection, a virus particle can break open and people can start making antibodies shaped to something inside the virus. Their immune system spends a lot of time and energy making antibodies that are essentially useless, all while the virus is going on the attack. Professor Gregory Weiss oversaw the research. It's sort of like your immune system is at the wheel of a car and it takes a bad wrong turn early on in the course of the disease. And then it's very hard to come back from after it does that. They came up with a two-step test that searches the blood for these bad antibodies, then calculates risk factors like age, sex, and pre-existing conditions. The result is really accurate. Bad antibody plus disease risk factor score 94% chance of landing in the ICU. They say the test won't reveal every person who's destined for the ICU because there are other reasons people get severely sick, but they think they can catch a sizable portion, maybe 25% of all severe cases, as soon as one day after symptoms appear. And the best part? It can be picked up anywhere where people are doing a conventional blood test for virus antibodies. Labs around the world already have the equipment they need to do this. The UC Irvine team decided not to patent the technology, so anyone can start testing for bad antibodies today. There's nothing more important that we scientists can do than to get technologies that are inexpensive out into the field where they can make a difference in people's lives. And it might. They say they've already drawn interest from the World Health Organization. Derek Stoll. ABC 10 News and the researchers say the findings are particularly important for people with multiple risk factors like adults over 50 with high blood pressure and obesity. When those people also have the bad antibody, their risk of severe disease jumps 14 times higher.